Hi, my name is uh, Jim Dunnett. I'm the uh, fleet manager of Air Canada's A319, 320, 321 fleet. We serve destinations uh, throughout North America, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. Uh, 320s operate uh, from uh, Anchorage, Alaska, down to Caracas in Venezuela, and uh, all the way to uh, London, England. Good morning, uh, my name is Captain Jeff Dennis. I'm a captain on the Airbus A320 at Air Canada in the Flight Operations Department. I'm also a manager of line operations. Today we'll be taking an Airbus A319 departing Toronto International Airport, uh, proceeding to Bermuda. Flying with me today is Peter. I'll allow Peter to introduce himself. Good morning, my name is Captain Pete Soltow. Um, Jeff and I will be doing the flight deck duties this morning on uh, our flight down to Bermuda from Toronto. About a two and a half hour flight in our 319 this morning. Air Canada 942, good morning. Push back tail east, call ready for taxi. Starting engines two and one, Peter. An engine two start is complete. And engine two parameters look stable. I'm gonna go ahead and initiate start of engine one. Initially, we look to make sure we have free spool of our N1 and our N2. And then we start watching for our fuel flow. At this point in our flight, we're uh, presently 215 miles to the southeast of JFK uh, Airport. We're in uh, oceanic airspace. We're about to transition to uh, New York Oceanic Control, and that's going to take place over the King Way Point, which is our first oceanic uh, reporting point. At that point, we're going to get a cell call check, and uh, we'll switch over to frequency 6577, high-frequency radio communication. We'll position report uh, from there at Kiner and Bovik into Bermuda's airspace. So it's over to Peter now, who's operating the radios. A New York airing, good morning, Air Canada 942. Air Canada 942, good morning, air stop for check. Air Canada 942, we are Papa Romeo Golf Kilo, confirm. Papa Romeo Golf Kilo, here's good. Cell call checks okay for Canada 942. 100. 50. 30. Retard. 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 100. Welcome to Windy Bermuda. We just got in from Toronto. It's about 20 knots of wind blowing here today. It's 20 degrees Celsius, kind of a beautiful day. Um, prior to every flight and on every turnaround, we do an external inspection of the aircraft. So I'm going to do a walk around on the airplane right now. It's a cursory check to make sure we haven't hit any birds or, or there's no uh, mechanical uh, issues with the airplane. Fan section's turning due to the high wind here on the ground in Bermuda. Intake looks fine. And just a general check of the aircraft, no fluids coming out of the bottom of the airplane anywhere. So I'd say the airplane's in great shape for our return back to uh, Toronto. Uh, my name's Jeff Craig. I'm a pilot with Air Canada, where I'm a captain on the Airbus 320. Uh, flying with me today is First Officer Christine Lyon. Uh, Christine and I will be flight planning a flight from Toronto's Pearson International Airport to Montego Bay, Jamaica. Good day, Clarence. It's Air Canada 982. Air Canada 982, clearance. Good morning. Good morning. We have information whiskey. We're at gate 170 and the PDC is 702 November. Air Canada 982, your readback is correct. Contact apron on 12207 to push back. So yeah, right now we're just coming uh, up to Cape Canaveral, Florida, where they uh, actually last week just launched the last of the space shuttle flights. Uh, what you see ahead of us there, there's a uh, runway oriented north northwest southeast and the shuttle pad well first off to the left of that runway <clears throat> is a fairly large building that's where they house the shuttle and then there's a road leading from that building out to the coast which if you've ever seen the moving a shuttle uh, runs on a, a kind of a conveyor track system and the uh, the shuttle uh, the vehicle that moves the shuttle from that large building runs down that road. I think it runs very about one mile an hour, I think. Yeah. 
This line here depicts the airspace around Cuba. We have to contact them at least 10 minutes before entering their airspace. One of the notes we have on the map here says all aircraft entering Cuban airspace must be able to establish and maintain communications with the appropriate Havana CTA FIR uh, sector 10 minutes prior to airspace entry. So we did that uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, we have to have a flight plan on file. Obviously they know we're coming because we are flight planned. Uh, we come down here almost every day. And it says it must adhere strictly to Cuban requirements for overflight of their territory. And that's uh, item C. There used to be an item D which said uh, failure to do that could uh, potentially result in being shot down. So that was, uh, that was a note that certainly got our attention. I don't see that on there anymore. Things must have relaxed a little bit, but it was on there at one point. That should be what the view is on final approach to 07. Switches are for uh, uh, some of the computers. Uh, ELAC one is the elevator aileron computer. The SEC one is a spoiler elevator computer, and the FAC is the flight augmentation computer. There's uh, two of the ELACs, uh, three of the SECs, and two FACs. So we've got seven of these computers all together. There are four more on the other side. Uh, the overhead panel, by the way, is broken down into systems. It's uh, laid out in such a way that it makes it very easy to determine which systems we're looking at. Tower Canada 971, 24 left. And 971, Tower, good evening. Uh, Airbus 321, about a half final. Okay, with 290, 17S22. Third line, runway 24 left. Third line, 24 left, Canada 971. Hey, just a technique of mine, I uh, like to take a look at the uh, forecast turbulence with uh, the National Weather Service, and I just go to their uh, turbulence page and it gives you a graphical nice uh, picture of what to expect. You just put in your altitude, your planned altitude and the forecast time that you're going to be en route and it just gives you a nice graphical easy picture to see. You can see we're going to uh, maybe run into some light turbulence on our way down. V1, rotate. As we approach from the north, uh, the city of Orlando uh, and the sort of greater Kissimmee area is going to be off to the right side of the airplane. Uh, Disney World, of course, is, is over there as well. Um, many of our passengers, a lot of kids on these flights, are generally coming down for, uh, for a week with, uh, with Mickey Mouse in Orlando. So uh, that part of the city and the Disney World complex will be uh, off to the right of the airplane as we make our approach in from the north. 18 right. Air Canada 1226 on tower, wind 020 at 6, runway 18 right, clear to land. Three hold short of 18 left at bubble. folks from the flight deck, your captain speaking. Just a brief moment of your time uh, to update our status in, inbound to Toronto. We're presently 175 miles to the southeast of Toronto. Present time in Toronto, 226 in the afternoon. Touching down in Toronto will be at three o'clock. We'll have you on the gate uh, at approximately uh, 3.05. We'll be about 10 minutes early onto the gate. The gate's 178. I'd like to thank you for choosing Air Canada for your travel plans today. We do hope you've enjoyed the flight and we hope to see you again in the near future.